Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll see about how to load a data from an XML file into a MySQL table using the load data in file statement. Okay, so obviously we need an XML file to be loaded and we need a table to be loaded. So make sure that uh, the data what you're going to load from the XML file is incompatible with table. That means make sure the uh, table, uh, the number of columns and the data type of column matches the data we are going to load for example in this case i'm going to load the information about the employee into a table called emp that is present in the my schema so here i am having few informations like employee information that is a number in data type so which i'm going to store into a employee number of integer column same way you can store the employee name into e name column job information into job column the manager into manager of integer column I date I'm right now storing as a varchar because in case if there is a data type mismatch when you are storing especially the date and time information will get error so right now I'm just storing as a varchar then while querying I'll be converting into a proper date format the salary I'm storing into cell column of integer data type same way commission and department I'm storing into the respective columns of integer data type okay so this is um, uh, one form where we represent in the XML data type. In fact, the same information can be represented in one more format also in the XML. As you can see here, here the informations are represented in the attribute of attribute tag. However, in the previous XML, each and every informations are represented in the individual uh, tag. So here also we uh, in case whatever the uh, type of XML or whatever the format of XML, but make sure that the columns where we are going to store the information is compatible. So exactly the same thing here. We are going to read the information from attribute um, uh, column into the respective column name of the table. As you can see here, employee name and um, e name into e name of uh, bar care column. The same thing exactly like how we saw yesterday in the previous slide. The rest of the information we are going to store into the rest of the columns. Okay. Now let us uh, learn the syntax of uh, in file statement to load XML data into the table. So here is the syntax as you can see here load XML followed by the in file keyword which says what information from where the information has to be read from. So this is the source file information. The next is like into table. So this is the target table name where we are going to load the information into the last keyword rows identified by. So this is the one which is going to say where the rows available in the XML file. So uh, MySQL will read this information as per the rows identified by and all the informations will be loaded into the respective column of the table. Let me just execute and show you for both the type of XML files here. As you can see here, I have the employee data information in the XML format, which you are going to load. So here is the in file uh, uh, load XML in file statement. I'm just copying this. Now what you can do, let's just go to our uh, MySQL workbench to just make sure the table is created. Okay. So I just connected to MySQL workbench. I'm just dropping in case if the table was already there. Now I'm just creating the table table is created yeah let us just query the information from the table so obviously there will not be any information in this table yes okay now we can connect to the mysql uh, command line and we can execute the load data statement so i have connected to mysql command line okay i'm just giving the command load xml from the given in input xml file into this particular employee table just click enter if you are seeing query OK followed by the number of rows affected, that means the informations are successfully loaded into the table. Otherwise, we will get a meaningful error message. Then we can correct based on the error message. Let us just query back from the table. Okay, As you can see here, all the information from the given XML are loaded successfully into this table. Now let us execute. Uh, now let us try to load the information from the uh, second type of uh, XML file. Okay, as you can see here, uh, here we have given the XML file in a different format, bit different format the, as the informations are available in the attribute rather than in the individual tag information. Now let us try to uh, load this information. Before loading, let us just truncate our uh, table because we have already loaded some information, right? 
so i am just dropping the table i am just recreating the table let me just query the table okay right now uh, no data are there let us just connect to the mysql uh, client okay i have connected i am just giving the um, load xml in file statement as you can see here now we are loading a uh, the second uh, xml where the informations are available in the attribute um, uh, xml uh, fields right so i'm just click enter yeah as you can see here the informations are successfully loaded because we got the um, meaningful message like query okay 14 rows affected now let us query back from the table yeah all the information from the uh, given access xml are successfully loaded now thank you for watching stay tuned for more updates please share your comments